Hello guys. Welcome to Diablo the Primordial. In this video we will see what happened after Yuki left with the angels, which you have seen on Rimuru vs Yuki series. So if you have not watched it, then please watch it first. The link is in the description. So without any further delay let's start. But before we start please like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss the updates. After Yuki had left, the emperor funeral was conducted. Velgrind oversaw the event. After been summoned, she cremated the corpse with her flames of purification. Just like Emperor Rudra's wish, I'll take his place to maintain the peace and order of the imperial capital. For the reconstruction, there's no need to do anything special right now. After all, there was no damage to the buildings, the main damage was on the human population. However, as their relatives were robbed by the angels it might be necessary for us to perform mental care so as to cope with the fear of the citizens who will be ruled by a demon lord. Don't you think that such matters would not be suitable tasks for the demons? However, unexpectedly, this is not true. The demons who eat emotions were helpful, because they reduced the burden on the mind by eating the emotions such as the fear and anxiety of the citizens. It doesn't mean all of the citizens' sadness disappeared, but it could prevent them from performing a rebellion or organize a resistance, so it might be best for them. Though the demons would probably erase them the moment such signs are seen. I predict that they wouldn't report small matters like that at all. Dino seemed to show his true colors in Tempest, as if he was waiting for the timing when we would be in the middle of combat with the Empire's army. I confirmed the damage immediately, Gerudo had received serious injuries while Sheehan and Soy seemed to be lightly injured. Sheehan's injury was only to the degree that it will be healed immediately, while Soy could hardly be called wounded, as such I felt relieved. On the other hand, Gerudo's injuries seemed to be considerably bad. It didn't endanger his life, however, he seems to have fallen into a situation of needing a complete bed rest. Because of my worry, I came back to check on his condition with the transfer gate during the break. Hey, Gerudo, are you alright? I asked his condition as soon as I entered the treatment room, I saw Gerudo's miserable appearance. For Gerudo, who has a high recovery rate, to still be in this state, it is probably the influence of the enemy's abilities. As I hear about his condition, I see it while referring to the archive the fight, where Sheehan and Soy used Gerudo as a living shield, is projected clearly. How cruel! Were my feelings that make me want to console Gerudo from the very bottom of my heart. No, as far as I can see, they had repulsed two fallen angels which are of higher rank and as a strategy this might be the most optimal choice. I'm certain that this action is exactly just like an action in a strategy that is drafted by Raphael San. Oh Rimuru Sama! I, Gerudo am truly ashamed, due to my own uselessness, this one has caused worry for you. This one shall devote myself more from now on, and acquire a tougher body that wouldn't be injured to this degree. Oh! Don't you think that you're already tough enough by now? After all, he amazed me by how he received the attacks of two awakened demon lord class enemies so many times, yet didn't get any fatal injuries. Although, it might be the result of his self-recovery ability aided by Sheehan's skills. Is that so? Then I shall anticipate it. In which case, I will help you only a bit. After I say as such, I execute Gerudo's evolution. Notification. Would you like to carry out the evolution of individual, Gerudo? Yes, no. I answer with yes, and send 100,000 souls to Gerudo. In this way, Gerudo has evolved into an awakened demon lord as well. It's just a perfect opportunity, while you are imagining the appearance that you desire for yourself, you should take a break. Understood. I'm very grateful for the blessings you have conferred to me. The ceremony was finished without problems as he hadn't declined this time. And then I went to the labyrinth group's posts. Inside the labyrinth, Dino seemed to have aimed at Ramirez, so there was a necessity to deal with it for the future. I listened to the story, as it's necessary for the future. Dino had defeated Beretta, he also overwhelmed Adelman and Albert, it seems he had been on the verge of laying his hands on Ramirez. Oh well, in the end, Ramirez is safe because Zijin protected her, it was a smart decision to keep an eye on him from the start, as I had predicted Dino's betrayal. But, it doesn't mean that Beretta and Adelman are weak. They are plenty strong, however Dino was a more powerful enemy than we had expected. Also, I was surprised by Zijin's splendid performance. He's an out-of-the-norm existence, among my subordinates, he and Diablo form a pair of unrivaled strong individuals. His strength was clearly on a different level from the other floor guardians. 
When I saw the archive, Zijin seemed to have defeated Dino easily, while still hiding his ability. What a terrifying child. Honestly, I think it's a really good thing that he is my ally. I don't mean that Adelman and the other's performance was poor, rather I want to praise them, for splendidly buying time. However, I'm afraid that they, who were very earnest, might blame themselves again. And, just as I thought, I deeply apologize, Rimuru-sama, I have exposed Ramirez-sama to danger. When I called for Beretta, Adelman and co were bowing their heads and apologizing to me. No, didn't you guys succeed installing Dino, in accordance to the plan, right? It is a superb achievement. However, I am the central figure in the defense. Although I was appointed by Rimuru-sama as Ramirez-sama's guardian, in this crisis. Beretta still argued vehemently. He must be quite frustrated, however I believe that he was not the only one to have noticed whether he could win or not, in addition he took the most appropriate action. He seemed to settle down at last, when I praised him that it was a splendid work. Beretta and Adelman have already earned enough achievements, not just from doing a reckless attack knowing that it was impossible to win against Dino. Concerning the results, Ramirez is safe so there is no problems whatsoever. Besides, Oh well, I understand your feelings that lament for your lack of power. If that is so, then I shall give you all more power. So, I took a pose as if showing, what a great demon lord, and held my hand over Adelman's head. Notification would you like to conduct the evolution of individual, Adelman? Yes, no. I reply with yes and Adelman's awakening evolution completes. The next is Beretta. Fortunately, I acquired a large amount of souls during the battle with the Empire Army, therefore I am able to evolve Beretta. Although I had changed the master and servant relation to Ramirez as the master rather than me, Beretta is still one of the devils that I created. Even now, I own the authority as the submaster, and there's also the important duty of protecting Ramirez. You too, Beretta, from now on, continue to protect Ramirez. I end Beretta's awakening evolution as I order him so. Yes, I will put this life on the line. Beretta strongly nodded to my words and seemed to accept the evolution. Then I told him to recuperate at ease and had him return to his job. Oh well, it's because they're strong to the degree that even if the enemy was rather powerful, the labyrinth defense will be alright. However, there is also the possibility that the guardians will need to rally forth to face the enemy. If Beretta becomes the person in charge of Ramirez's protection and the labyrinth management, then I will feel more assured. And with this, one of my tasks came to an end. When I visited Ramirez who was sleeping innocently on the couch, she seemed to be sleeping in bliss. It's quite the relief that she's safe. Munya Munya, Dino you bastard. I will test all of my 48 special moves on you. Is she sleep talking? This fellow, and she's even confident in her dreams. I am so glad that you're safe. I said, in a small voice so as to not wake her up, and then left the room. I had entrusted Shuna to care for Ramirez, since she's only sleeping, it will be alright. I believe that the labyrinth will be alright so long as Zijin protects it, but for the time being I asked about it from Zijin as well. Zijin, you did a good job. I already knew that Dino was suspicious, however the timing of his betrayal was at a time when we were short on hands. I feel relieved that you were here. No, someone like I still have a long way to go. If it was Rimuru-sama, even if I hadn't appeared, you could have killed him with one strike that crosses space-time, right? I feel grateful for the chance you have given me to participate, whether I was able to meet. What is he trying to say? A strike that crosses space-time? I might not be able to do that. What kind of monster does this guy picture me as? Ah that's right. Perhaps, I might be able to do that, right? Yes. It is a simple task if it is Rimuru-sama. This is far beyond mere respect. I feel like his gaze is more like someone who is revering their god. Because Zijin has compound eyes, this might be no more than my imagination. Pulling myself together, I spoke with Zijin for a while. Apparently, he carved a curse onto Dino. Not the thought manipulation kind, but the terrifying kind that even has the power over life and death. In a case that the target does not act according to the practitioner's intentions, it could immediately rob the target of their life. However, it can't make detailed limitations, like restraining the target's actions, so it can't really limit what the other party will do. Though he seems to know when the target tells a lie, there's no special limitation besides that. It is capable of making it impossible, for the target, to say anything about the curse to anyone else, as it is a cue for the activation of the ability. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. 
And if you guys have not watched the fights between Rimuru vs Veldora and Velgrin, or Black Numbers vs The Empire then please watch them. The links are in the description. And don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss the updates.